What is going on YouTube? Hey, I'm back making another brand new Crypto TV episode. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, as well as XRP, TUS dollar. We're also going to be looking at Dudex, as well as the current coin market cap. Um, obviously, if you guys already are aware of the market has been going absolutely haywire overnight, we're actually seeing prices within Bitcoin almost retesting $10,000, which is pretty crazy because I don't think any of us had really anticipated this movement to happen this quickly. It's pretty crazy, uh, the market that we're in right now. So there's definitely going to be uh, a couple things to discuss in today's video definitely more in depth than we have in the past um otherwise you guys can see really quickly bitcoin is actually approaching ninety eight hundred dollars i want to talk about what is going on right now because i do have um some beliefs that i would like to share with you guys i do believe there's a lot of false hope in this and you, you guys do need to consider watching this video if you really are interested in investing selling or buying bitcoin at this time um otherwise if you guys are new to the channel definitely make sure to subscribe turn on post notifications leave a giant thumbs up remember to follow me on twitter at crypto v official um this way if you have any questions comments or concerns about the channel cryptocurrency or the market you can just dm me over there otherwise let's jump into today's episode so guys, yesterday we left off a very interesting video. A lot of you guys watched, but as you guys can see, I discussed XRP, Ripple, and Bitcoin's next move will be massive. It's going to be huge, and most people don't even realize it yet that it's coming. And as you guys can see, today we wake up and it's $9,800. We are retesting a very critical resistance, and as you can see, we have the options of breaking fairly bullish or fairly, fairly bearish in the next couple of hours. And as you know, that is exactly what it did. So with that information, we can now look at the current coin market cap. This is definitely a very, very, very interesting market we're seeing right now. Bitcoin is the only crypto that is up, up 5%, really not much at all. But the rest of the market is actually down about 1% to 2%. This is interesting that we haven't really seen a market like this in a long time. The last time I can to date remember when prices acted like this, when Bitcoin went higher and the rest of the cryptos dropped, was closer to 2017 during that massive uh, bull run. Everyone was taking all their money out of the cryptocurrencies and throwing it into Bitcoin, which drove the price up you know, to astronomical levels. Now, obviously, that can continue to happen if we start to see Bitcoin retest um, prices we haven't seen in a very long time time. As you guys can see, the closer we get to 10k, the higher the chances are that there's going to be some FOMO and some very, you know, crazy wicks that we haven't seen in the market in a long time. Now, specifically, I want to jump into Bitcoin, then we'll look at the other cryptos. And I want to just point out something here. So obviously, there's a couple of things we have to pay attention to when looking at the, the market like this. Clearly, you have the uptrend. We have higher lows being set. You can tell that we are extremely overbought on the RSI. This is on the daily. We're trading at 80. And we are coming fairly you know, above the MACD. We don't look too bad on the MACD, but ultimately, we look extremely you know, stressed. We look over, you know, overstrung out, and it looks like we're, we're needing some more consolidation. Now, it doesn't mean we can't head up higher, and there's a good chance we probably will. But what I want you guys to consider is the massive resistance that's on the coin here. We actually shot all the way up to 99 and a half, which is crazy high, almost retesting 10,000. What I want to show you guys is this weekly chart and why this doesn't really concern me, why this isn't a surprise, why I've said that there's a good chance we can wick higher than this and then consolidate lower. This is a, a clear reason to see it. Now, obviously we have the downtrend here we, and each of these candles represent one week. You guys have to consider that. Now, what I wanna point out is this resistance has been on here since 2017. So the past three years, we've been using this as a downtrend. Just because today we're deciding to break above the downtrend doesn't really mean anything. It really is going to make, you know, uh uh, sense if we close above this resistance um, at the end of this, you know, this candle. We have th over three days, three days and seven hours left of this candle for it to figure out what it wants to do. But based on previous history, based on we can go back uh, a year from now, uh, you can see that we've had one, two, three, four, five, six candles. We've had six weeks over a month where we've reattempted to try to break above the downtrend, and it has not happened. We have these massive wicks. They're crazy. Very risky, um, very volatile, very uncertain, but they do happen. And ultimately, it does call for a correction to the downside. Obviously, a lot of people may consider that we could be making a ton of money in this week. They could buy in, hold out. Prices are thirteen thousand dollars, looking great. And then the next day, they wake up, they look at the charts, and we're at ten k. You're down three and a half thousand dollars, and crazy stuff happens. So this is why this is alarming to me. I mean, yes, we look okay on the weekly. We really do. We don't look terrible, but 
even then. We've seen prices when we shot all the way up here, trading at the exact same level we were uh, trading at now. You know, we're at this area on the uh, relative strength indicator 60 in the RSI. We go back to February uh, in 2020 and we were trading at that same level and then we corrected lower. We've had these wicks in the past. Now, not all of them were overbought. Some of them were very close, but we can pump up higher. We can hit overbought. And then there's a very good chance we're going to wick lower. That's where my you know head is. I do believe this is just for right now. We have almost four days left of this consolidation, and then we'll ultimately see what exactly is going to happen. We have till the end of Sunday. We may most likely correct back down below it. It's just a wick. So just be prepared. Don't buy in as if you're thinking you're going to be missing out. Obviously, you can set up, you know, some stop losses things like that i've updated my patreon today so check it out on my patreon links in the description if you guys want my specific trades as to how i'm handling the situation but just i don't want you guys to be alarmed that this isn't something to be like oh my god he was wrong uh we're heading up you know it doesn't mean we're breaking out just yet because we've had these wicks and i've discussed it in my previous videos that may signify lower movements. I've discussed that we may pump higher, but there's a good chance we'll fall down and retest our bottom support. So keep that in mind when trading Bitcoin today, guys. Uh, don't be, you know, don't think you're missing out and don't just throw money in that you're not comfortable with losing. Even on, you know, Dudex, you can see right here that we do have this resistance. We're breaking above here, but we have a lot of time, it's too early to decide whether or not we're gonna be breaking bullish out of that. There's a very good chance it won't. Personally, that's what I think. Obviously, it's getting ready for a great short. That's just my um, my mindset. I really do believe that being so overbought right now, being 80 on the RSI, is really getting ready for a drop in the price that not many people are going to realize, and it's gonna happen very soon. And with that in mind, we do have to consider shorting this market, as you guys can see. Dudex is right here, it's in the description down below. This is what we'll be using, we'll be shorting the market, you know, good chance we'll correct down lower, we'll follow it on Bitcoin, and then there's a good chance we'll fall all the way back down to $7,700. I honestly really think that. You could easily set your limit price closer to, you know, $9,000 if you wanted to, buy in when the price gets there, uh, your limit order will fill, you can put in whatever it is there, and then sell short, and it will fill once the price reaches 9,000. But there's a ton of things to do, and the only way to capitalize this is using a short, because I do think we're going to be pumping lower before we decide to head up. If you have any comments on that, definitely you know DM me down below or leave a comment in the description. And then that's just Bitcoin. This is only Bitcoin. Now let's look at the other cryptos. We have XRP, we have Ethereum, we have Litecoin. Really not being affected much at all. Uh, believe it or not, Litecoin actually broke below its resistance and it's kind of trending up there right now. But we still have six hours left for Litecoin to really decide what it's going to do. Personally, I believe we're going to head back down to retest its support, retest its um, you know uptrend, and then we'll figure out what's going to happen. But ultimately, these coins are fairly overbought. We're even having a bearish cross on Ethereum, but Ethereum's bouncing off its higher low. So there's a good chance Ethereum's going to head up higher too, and that might be driving Bitcoin head up just a little bit. And then even with XRP bottoming off on its middle moving average i do think there's some consolidation left but just to see the way bitcoin is forming just to see this massive downtrend that we've had for three years hold extremely truthful there's a good chance we're going to see some consolidation long term maybe into september or maybe into august just consider these things it's definitely going to play out very weird and very peculiar i just wanted you guys to keep a close eye on the way these markets are heading and then to discuss XRP a little more in depth, we can just you know spread things out to the weekly and check out the way its pattern is moving. Because as we know, XRP has been trading ever since early 2017. We can go even farther back, closer to, yeah, basically early 2017, mid 2017, massive downtrend. We've been creating uh, lower lows every year. It's been a negative return on investment every year. I mean, for the first time now, we're actually, we actually bottomed out and, and, and created the all time low just a couple of months ago. And we are starting to slowly swing back up, but you have to consider there is still a very, very, very significant, you know, resistance on this coin. You just draw it out right here. You can see how easily it is, you know, rejecting all these prices that come up. We retest it, we fall. We retest it, we fall. Retest, fall, retest, fall. We're going to do it again. We're literally right there, neck and neck, retesting it. There's a big chance we could correct lower. There's a lot of these options at the table, and I don't want you guys to just throw your money in just yet. If we do see a bull run and we do see a break to the upside, 
we can always throw into it, set a stop loss and create our profit and then head out. There's no reason to jump the gum just yet and then you know end up losing money. That's not the reason why we're in this game. Otherwise, that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video. If you are new to the channel, definitely make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up, follow me on Twitter, CryptoViaOfficial, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.